Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Okay. Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know. The guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to- I do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See? Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? For what? You didn't do anything. Your willingness to stand by me even now is truly inspiring. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But... Come on. Miss Price, Miss Amber, one of you girls better start telling me what actually happened now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. 
<laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. Uh, now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> what? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? <sighs> Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe! <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Wells, you should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you, though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I'm sorry for bullying Nathan. But if you had to look at that smug face as often as I do... I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. 
Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Bray. Come on, Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> imagery. Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. F 
Finally. What I actually came here for. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Another letter to Max. <sighs> that I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Max would have loved this shit. It 
It's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the... incident yesterday if you improve your attitude going forward incident what incident i'll just say we had a rather frank discussion but with an apology i'm willing to start over sure Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom... I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. 
We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. What does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck-up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Ugh. This thing is a mess. But 
Maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Don't want to leave yet. No, not going over there. Cigarettes. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. There's got to be a battery under one of these car hoods, right?
This is no good. First you take my mom, then you take my home. Fuck you, David. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so... Awesome. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Most of these cars are junk. I'll probably need to find the one that seems less junky if I have any hope of finding a working battery. Gotta look for new cars. <laughs> Maybe even another truck. Gotta look for new cars. <laughs> Maybe even another truck.
Gotta look for new cars. <sighs> Maybe even another truck. Gotta look for new cars. <laughs> Maybe even another truck. Gotta look for new cars. <sighs> Maybe even another truck. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Um, this thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. I know someone who would be very happy here. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes, okay? 
Good talk. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. I've seen the light, and it's awesome. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. New 
Nearly all great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. <laughs> I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. You're a long way from the country club, guy. Four. Er, something. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. This rug has some miles on it. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Yeah? Price, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard? That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon.
Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Shit. I slept all day. Dad? Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? I wonder if it burned like this the day, the day it happened. I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here?
Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A pirate flag? A freaky red light? Look at that little dude. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. <laughs> like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am, I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But come on, doesn't accomplice sound way cooler than accessory after the fact? 
<laughs> is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm, that's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? He's a uh, step douche because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest Step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Ew! And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. I've been booted from school and. I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him?
You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show? It's bad luck. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe.
It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Frank's outside. I... That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Bryce, get your ass in here. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that look? Ah! Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Now I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? written upon the stars from long, long ago. A dragon will rise from the earth, conjuring dark clouds to blot out the heavens. A phoenix will descend from above, delivering purple wind with a flap of its wings. Yet even as the sky is devoured by darkness, a single morning star radiates its bright light. That long, winding tale shall now begin. Shenmue, the animation, coming in 2022. An Adult Swim and Crunchyroll original.